What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at y'all with another mukbang. Okay, y'all, I am so hungry. It's breakfast time, and I'm ready to eat. I have today, I have an omelet here. I like my omelets kind of well done because I don't like running eggs and all of that stuff, so that's why it's a little brownish. And I have some fresh grapes. These are seedless grapes this time. And I have a banana. And y'all already know, I have my Trappist Bull Hot Sauce. I get that from Walmart, and I think it's like a dollar, girl, because y'all always asking me where I get this hot sauce from Walmart and it's like if it's not a dollar 99 cents is a dollar 10 cents something in that area okay um it shouldn't be over a dollar 50 I know that much so I don't already cut my arm to here y'all because I almost forgot I was trying to record and I was about to go start eating y'all so right here in this cup right here y'all I don't have my water cup today but I do have some um nice hot and fresh green tea this green tea is by um the Bigelow brand from Walmart as well. And I have uh, in the, the K cups, in the Keurig cups, because I have a Keurig. And this is green tea, and it has two packs of uh, Stevia. I think it's called Stevia in it. It's kind of like Splenda, but not Splenda. They said, you know, because they said don't get Splenda or whatever. But So I got Stevia. I think that's what it is, Stevia in the raw. And that's what's in here, two of those with this cup of green tea. Oh, it's hot. Y'all like my Wonder Woman cup? That was my Christmas present from Pooby. So, y'all, I'm going to say grace. I already got my fault ready. I already know I'm hungry. So, I'm going to say my grace and we're going to eat. Okay? All right. God is grapes. God is good. Lord, thank you for my food. By my hands, you're my best friend. Thank you, Lord, my daily bread. Amen. Lord, let this food be pure, clean, and nourishing for my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen. Okay, y'all. So, I got to get into this. I use this hot sauce in a minute. So, I'm going to have to shake it up to get all the, the juicy hotness from the bottom. Yeah, I just dropped my, my um, omelet. <laughs> Look better than I do, don't it? Okay, so move this coffee out. Coffee. I don't drink coffee, y'all. This is tea. Um, I, Yeah, y'all know this tea. I just told y'all, but I don't drink coffee. Just in case you're wondering if I did or not. Oh, it's too early in the morning for hot sauce. No, I don't know it was hot. Mmm. Mm, mm. It done got cold for my video. Hold on, be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back, child. I had to warm that thing up. Y'all wasn't about to have me finna eat no cold food for no video. Thanks. I wonder how many people eat cold food for their mukbangs. Not me, the devil is a lie. Mm -mm. This omelet has green bell peppers in it um, and hot Tennessee pride sausage. You know, like the um, the one that roll that you get for the sausage links, not the links, the patties. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's good. Oh, I'm so glad I warmed it up, honey, because if I would have forced myself to eat that cold, mm-mm. Nice, good green tea here. This tea burnt my mouth the other day, y'all. I was drinking. Well, I took the first sip. You know how you have something hot and you drink it too fast because you're so ready to eat? That's what I did, and I burnt my tongue. Okay. Okay, I think it's good. I think I can handle it. Y'all, I got a seedless grapes this time because the last time, my grapes, they was too irritating to eat. I know they said eat the grapes with seeds in it, but, huh, girl. I was doing too much just to eat a grape. And I ain't know about that life. I mean, I liked them, but all them seeds was just too much. Mm. What I said I had in here, did I even finish? Because sometimes, y'all, I'm so absent minded. I stop talking and start back talking, be them. Forgot what I was talking about. But I have um, avocado in here, green bell peppers. Oh, oh yeah, I told y'all that, but I got the avocado in here too. I had an avocado that I thought I was about to throw in the trash. It had kind of got soft. And I had cut it just to look on the inside to see what it was about. And it actually looked kind of decent. To, it probably had about two more days left of life in it. And um, I cut it up and put it right in this omelet. 
but I cut around. It was like a little brown spot, and I cut around that. Uh, it was good to go. This almond is so good. Y'all need to try it, you know, an omelet call. Woo! I like the fact that I make my food, and I didn't go out and get this for my um, mukbang. You know, and I got a lot of fruit. I think I had grapes and bananas the last mukbang I did. <clears throat> And this hot sauce right here, it really sets my omelet off. A lot of y'all had told me the last time that y'all used crystal hot sauce, and that was my go-to hot sauce. I like crystal hot sauce the best. And my husband bought this one day, and I was he always had different hot sauces, and I tried this one. I've been stuck ever since. I've been stuck. I haven't even bought crystals no more. And they, they come from Walmart, you know. Mm. I think I'm going to go in one of my videos and give a couple of y'all some shout outs because y'all, this YouTuber will be something serious with the YouTubers sometime. Um, Sometimes I feel like that some of the YouTubers can show a little bit more love in their comment section. Or maybe that's just me. Because I, I love to talk to y'all. and You know, I feel like if y'all went out y'all way to comment, I feel like I need to do the same. You know, because without y'all, there what's the point of me being on here? I'll come on here for y'all. So I feel like... I feel like I can go ahead and, um, you know, comment back every now and again. Mmm. Man, this tea's so good. Ooh. That joke just melted my soul. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Warmed it up, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all yeah, already know I'm going to tell y'all about my bonnets. Because my bonnets give me life. Um, these bonnets can be bought at my website, Golden Creations dot webs dot com this bonnet right here is the wonder woman bonnet i call it the wonder woman bonnet but it got all the little figures you got batman cat lady cat woman and all of those on here and um supergirl and all of that i'm gonna see if i can turn around a little bit let y'all see what it look like this is the large size can y'all see that much this is the large size bonnet and it fits very well and I love it, honey. I love all of my bonnets. Whew. This is some good stuff right here. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like... I don't like to watch a boring mukbang, y'all. So, y'all tell me if I'm boring, y'all. And if y'all feel like I can talk about some other things. Give me some topics, okay? Because me, personally, I don't sit and watch people muck bangs if they boring. I don't. If they boring, and I'd be like, man, please, you should be boring. Bye, click off. And I, I want to at least have y'all attended for a little while. Y'all might not have to watch the whole video, but at least watch a lot of it. Oh, I'm reading my other page. I go my 100 page. Oh, I need to make sure my, um, I put that um, deep conditioner in the description box. Y'all, when I tell y'all that deep conditioner that I use on my other channel was good, y'all already know. Y'all follow me over there. Most of the people who are over here. If y'all don't, please go follow me. My link will be below in the description box. I am Goldmouth 400 on YouTube. That's my original channel. This is my second channel. Um, trying to, This is my up and coming channel. Um, Thank you so much, Jasmine, if she's watching this. I don't know if she is. She said she loved my personality. Oh, I got a great personality. Thank you. But, yeah, um, all my OG subscribers, well, I can't say OG. All my real ride or die subscribers who come in pretty much on every video, 
I can name y'all off the top of my head. But it's a few of y'all that used to come in all the time. It's missing. Like, where y'all at? Oh, and I do have to do an opening. Um, I don't like to do my eye like that. Okay. I do have to do a, um, a unboxing because a couple of subscribers had sent me some gifts. And I was like, what? Listen, I have not forgot about y'all. I do have um, my box from, oh my God, I forgot y'all name though. I think one of them is Miss Pink. I ain't show. If that's you, girl, let me know. Yes, got some hair products. And I got me some jewelry, girl. You already know I love jewelry, honey. So I got me some jewelry to show you guys. And hopefully I can do my... Oh, I, why, why I'm looking about my hair? Hopefully I can wear that jewelry with my nice little hairstyles. Tracy King, thank you so much. She said my hair was beautiful. Janelle asked me, was I watching the game? And I said, no. No, honey, I didn't watch the game. I usually don't. That's usually the only time I watch is when the game come on. But we don't got cable no more, you know. So it ain't it, it ain't even that serious. We have, the cable bill was too high. So we let go of the cable and just kept the internet. And um, we got Netflix and my husband got Fire Stick in the other room. I don't watch TV, so it don't matter to me. I watch YouTube, so all I need is Wi-Fi. So we got the Wi-Fi, and that's that's enough for me, honey. The um, Netflix is only a little bit a month, and the, what the other one is? The Fire Stick is free. He already paid for the uh, subscription, so, or whatever you call it. He paid for the thing, and the, the channel just on there some kind of way, child. I don't know how that worked, but I ain't got time because I don't like TV like that, that I need a Fire Stick. I don't even need the Netflix, but as long as I got the internet and I can talk to y'all, then I'm happy. That's all I need. That's all I need. So, needless to say, the Super Bowl ain't coming on on my TV unless we go somewhere and watch it. I don't care anyway because the next day it's always on. The highlights is on YouTube or I don't care about the game. I don't care nothing about the game. But if it's any good highlights that I miss, like a catch or re interception or whatever you call it, it's going to be on YouTube the next day anyway, or probably later that same day. So, I see the important parts, and most importantly is the halftime show. Yeah, YouTube going to have that on, like, the next day for free, okay? That's the most important thing of the Super Bowl anyway. And, and those commercials, that's all I liked was the halftime show and the commercials. So, um, other than that, I don't need to see the game. This is something that happened that's, like, out of this real oh and the um the national anthem that's it that's all gonna be on youtube the next day so i ain't gonna miss nothing i don't miss nothing so I'm, i can catch up on that i've seen a little bit of the super bowl highlights of the um the halftime show i forgot the man's name but he looked kind of dry anyway I forgot his name, but he do got some good songs. But his performance was like, the, from what I saw. So, from what I saw on YouTube, his performance is, I guess he was alright. He is, his, his songs are very nice and popular when they come on the radio. I like, I jam on all of them. But, the thing that bothered me was, he wasn't smiling, you know, he wasn't like, you know, because when he walked through the crowd, I see him, he was just like, like he was trying to get his mind right. All them people probably was overwhelming to him or something. I don't know. I don't know, child. That was just my take on it, okay? Woo! Green tea so good. My daughter don't like it. She said it tastes like water. Pooby. She said it tastes like water. I mean, it do kind of taste like water, but at the same time, if you if you get the right tea, it do have a little tangy flavor, like a little tang. I don't know, but it's good. It ain't no water. And it's good for you. It's good for you. Y'all, yeah, I have seen this mukbang channel. I don't know the woman's name, but she was talking about on the on the Muppet channel like people are literally 
killing themselves for money doing mukbangs and you know because a lot of mukbangers um come on with different varieties of food and most of the time the food is unhealthy like big old massive mounds of fried foods and fried chicken and um these noodles with cheetos in them and hot fries and stuff she was talking about one channel in particular i know it was, i don't know i don't know her name but she eat a lot of fried unhealthy foods and she was like this lady is literally killing herself it was a fat lady and she's like she's literally killing herself just for money for youtube and i don't know i was looking at that and i'm like hmm you know I guess she did have a point because when she showed the lady, I went on the lady's channel, I seen all that food, I was like, oh my God. I'm talking about, she was making up meals with, with, with hot fries and stuff, like hot fries, onion ring, and hot fried onion ring, chicken wing, and I was like, what the heck? I'm not going to eat all that crap for no views. And she had millions of views per video. I mean... Which means she done made a lot of money. Which is good. And it's crazy because it's like people actually want to see people do that. And I'm like, I know I'm a mukbanger, but I ain't finna do that. I'm not finna do that. That's just too much. At some point in life, you gotta have some sense. And the Bible say, the love of money is the root of all evil. I mean, I like money a lot, but I don't love it. Not enough to sit up and eat myself to death. It ain't finna happen, Captain. So if y'all if y'all like watching mukbangers, I like watching it though. I, honestly, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I watched it, and, and the whole time I be thinking, you finna eat that? You finna eat that? You finna eat all that? Like, it's a mukbang that come on with big old plates of noodles and stuff. And I'm like, you know, have mercy. I love me some noodles, but sometimes they be putting extra stuff in them that don't need to be in them. Just make them even more bad. <laughs> I like to watch, though. I'm not even going to lie. I like to watch. I just want to watch it. I'd be fascinated just to see if they're going to eat all that. Maybe they, maybe that's why they got a lot of views. Because it is kind of, it's quite fascinating to sit there and watch somebody stuff their face full of a whole bunch of crap you know kind of fascinating because it's like you don't eat all that and then the thing you know it'll be gone and they actually be eating it all because they don't edit their videos like i do i edit my videos but y'all gonna see me what i'm gonna eat is what i'm gonna eat if i got something left you're gonna see it on my plate before i turn the video off i ain't gonna i ain't gonna edit it and throw put some food on the side or some stuff like that i ain't gonna do all that i ain't got i ain't got that much time in my life to be doing all that extraness so it make me feel good when i come on and i can like have fruit incorporated into my mukbang or vegetables or something that's not too bad you know i can't talk about nobody myself because i eat bad food myself but i'm not finna eat a whole mound of it <laughs> and i'm not finna do it every day you feel me not like a mound of food every day and you see mm -mm. and what gets me is that the lady was already fat, like, real big. It was a white woman. I forgot her. I, and her channel is fat something. Fat chick or something like that. I don't got no problem with nobody weight, but I feel like that if you got a weight problem and you eating deep fried onion rings every day, your weight still going to be a problem. That is if it is a problem. Because some people fat and they don't even have like too many problems like that. And who am I 
gotta talk. Yeah, I'm fat myself. Um, as far as the daughter is concerned, I'm obese, y'all. I'm obese. I'm considered obese for my height and my weight. Mm hmm. What my doctor say? Or put it like this. My doctor never came out and told me that. But you know how when you go to the doctor and they give you like a report, papers that you got from the doctor. On the papers that say obese. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Obese? You tried my feelings. Yep. But if I had the doctor I'm concerned, I'm in the obese category. Five four, 190. Nine pounds right now. I mean, I, I'm in between 199 and 200 pounds on the scale all the time. Well, 198 and 200. For some reason, I'm just I'm just staying in that range no matter what I eat. And um, like I told y'all before, I'm not trying to lose weight, so not trying to gain weight either. But I'm not trying to lose it. So, but either way, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, most man was eating themselves to death for money. That's crazy, right? I sound real crazy. What y'all think about that? Y'all think people doing that? Like, because you really can't judge a person by what they eat because they eat it on camera. Well, not really. You can a little bit, though. Depends on what they eat. Uh, some of these mukbangers real deal eat like that. But, anyway, I ain't my business. I think that YouTuber name was Heidi. Black lady, but. Mm -mm. I'm enjoying these grapes way better than the last grapes that had seeds in them because um, I can just pop them in my mouth and eat them. But. They said that the grapes with the seeds in them was, I don't know, supposed to be the original grape or whatever, how grapes are supposed to be with the seeds. But I think the nutritional facts as far as the grapes with the seeds and without the seeds still the same. So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I just be Googling stuff and fit finding stuff out, y'all. That's me. The Google, the Google queen. Mm-mm-mm. But this thing right here so good and juicy. What you doing over now? Get in my belly. Y'all never your birthday coming up. It's gonna be um Monday, February eleventh. It's never your birthday. She's gonna be two. Oh my god. And she's still gonna be here with me. It's gonna be my first birthday with her. So and by her being here, she ain't got no friends or whatever because she don't go to daycare, so she just here. So what y'all think, like, something that I can do for Nivea for her birthday? They got this place in the mall. They got these balls in there that you can jump in. But then she most likely would be the only baby there because the times when I do go there, it's only a few kids in there at one time, which could be a good thing. I don't know. Could be a good thing because she might need it back to herself because so, y'all yeah, know sometimes them little kids be getting wild, jumping all over each other and falling all over the place. And if you're so little, she might get trampled. I don't know. And they do got a chicken cheese over there by the mouth too. So I don't. I was trying to figure out. You know, I ain't nobody got no money like that. So I'm trying to figure out I can have her a little cheap birthday here with me. Then when she go back to New York. Her mama and them gonna do what they gonna do with her over there. But while she here, we're gonna do something with her. Um, I got Coco here and Poopy still here. My girl wanna do something, so what y'all think? Chuck E. Cheese or the, the balls at the mall? And also at the mall, they got this, um, the merry-go-round too. She like that. She love the merry-go-round. I ain't never been to Chuck E. Cheese before though. I don't know what they got at Chuck E. Cheese. I wonder if she's scared of Chuck E. Cheese. 
He look a little scary to me. I might be the one scared of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Y'all, I got to go to the doctor and another month for another update, y'all. I thought my appointment was in March. And then when I looked at my letter, you know, for the confirmation of my appointment from the doctor, my appointment is in April. So I'm actually happy. <laughs> y'all know that crazy because I got happy because it was in April because... I started getting nervous. Okay, it's, it's February now, so I thought my appointment was in March. And I'm like, oh, man, I got to go to the doctor next month. And then I looked at my letter the other day. And it said April. And I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. That's just how it be when you um, went through some things. It's time to go check and see if, you know, you still okay. You want to be... I, it, it helps with my anxiety knowing I ain't got it to go next month, so... Y'all look out for me next month. I might be nervous again. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. Tell me if I'm boring, y'all. If y'all want some story times, like, give me some story time ideas. If y'all still watching this, comment down below story time that's what i want y'all to comment story time so that'll let me know if y'all want to hear a story time and if y'all got some story time ideas let me know hey jamie if you watching this girl you already know you already have the ideas inbox me on instagram and let me know matter of fact i'm gonna text you today because you gave me your phone number a long time ago and i ain't never i ain't never call because i'm a scary cat So, yeah, you might be done got a text. You might get a text from me today, tomorrow, one day. <laughs> one day, girl. I still love you, though, you know. Take me a minute to get over my fears. Mm. Ain't nobody seen Daphne? Daphne. You used to stay in my comment section a lot. I haven't seen her. All pink. Miss Pink. Where you been at, girl? Where y'all at? Mm. Tea so good and warm to my soul. I love my little cup. Finally got a cup. They can hold the right amount of tea in it. Because, guess what, y'all? Nivia you broke all my coffee cups. The last time she was here, she broke all of them. I had my coffee cups on this coffee holder thingy and they were just hanging, you know, coffee mug holder and my cups were just hanging from it. I think it held like eight cups. Nivea did something when she was smaller, hit the microwave and slung the microwave because my coffee cups sit on the thing on top of the microwave and oh, I look fat when I did that. Oh, jiggle, 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 low jiggle. Y'all. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah, and all my coffee cups came tumbling down. Mm -mm. All of them broke. So that's why Pooh was trying to replace the ones that Nivea broke by giving me a coffee cup every holiday. So Christmas, birthday, whatever, I get a coffee cup. I actually like this one, though. No, I don't drink coffee, like I said already. All I drink is tea. I got a whole curry just to drink tea. Mm hmm I love my Keurig maker too, y'all. My Keurig maker was a gift from my uncle a long time ago when I was in my old house. And he gave it to me. And I'm so glad that he did. So I was I love it. It worked like a charm. I had my little one cup and that's all I gotta worry about. Cause back in the day when I used to drink tea. I, I had to put it in the microwave, want the cup up, and I be having these little, these cups like with this kind of designs right here. You can't put this in the microwave because this is like an aluminum type, you know, uh, cup. So I had to put my, I like the cute cup, so 
I like to put my tea, fix it in another cup, just to pour it in a fancy cup, just so I can drink it and be bougie. Y'all know I can't be bougie, but I be trying. I drink my little tea, and I be like this. Oh, you gotta put your, you gotta put your little thing out like this. Yeah, I like that. That's bougie. <laughs> yeah, girl. So it was too hard to be bougie with that. Um, with the microwave. Mm -mm. So I got my little curing, honey. I've been bougie ever since when I be drinking my tea, girl. <laughs> Can't tell me nothing. I be like this. Do y'all know it? I got a bougie mama. You wouldn't think I was a child because I'm so ghetto. Um, she very bougie. If she's watching the video right now, I hope she not got. <laughs> she real prissy. She real girly. She like to wear heels. She like to get her nails done. She like the makeup. She like the hair done. I'm her mark. Girly girl. She like dresses. I mean, she real extra. Me, you wouldn't think I was a child because I'm just ratchet, I'm country, I'm ghetto. We don't even talk like y'all. I don't want to talk like no, nobody in my family for real. Because when I grew up, I was always around the boys. You feel me? I was a tomboy, hardcore. When I was younger, people used to just like say little things like, oh, she gonna like, she gonna be gay when she grew up. No, I'm not. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what the heck gay was back then. Like, what? All I knew was I liked to play. Kickball, football, in the bushes, hide, go, seek, whatever, tag. And I didn't like baby dolls. And I blame that on my daddy because I had a brother. <laughs> and my brother wasn't finna play with no baby doll. So if my brother wasn't playing baby doll, I had to play whatever he played so he wouldn't be acting like a girl so it was it was either him act like a girl or me act like a boy so i guess you know my daddy was not about that life so it was me being a tomboy got my friend got yeah so that's that's just how that happened i think i think it's my daddy's fault but sorry daddy you know you did that mm. But I had a great life. I ain't complaining. I was enjoying my tomboy. That's the reason why I can't wear no heels right now. Because I'm too much. I don't know how to sit properly. I don't know how to do nothing. Like, if I do got on dress and stuff, I'm not going to close my leg the right way. I'm not going to crisscross with no applesauce or none of that. So... It's like it's like this with me. You get what you get and don't have a fit. I try to wear some um what the hell? Wedges. But it's been a while since I wore them. Most of my my wardrobe consists of tennis shoes. I love tennis shoes. My favorite tennis shoe is Air Force Ones. I love those. The Nike Air Force One. Mm. Whew. I'm full now, y'all. I'm getting there, but I ain't finna leave none of my omelet on this plate, so I can't save that for later. I'll put those grapes up. Or I can get that to Nivea for breakfast, but I ain't finna throw my omelet away. Mmm. Yeah, girl. So, anyway, y'all, y'all let me know if y'all want to hear story time next time. Cause I, I got, I might have a few stories under my belt, y'all. Um, I ain't that old, but I don't know. Old people have a lot of story times of what they did back in the day. Oh, I might, I might do have some story times of what I did back in the days when I was little. Mm -hmm. I didn't do too much. My life consisted when I was younger, church, church, church. Church, 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 praise God. 
That was my life. But that is it, y'all. Oh, I look like a flat woman. Y'all, y'all gonna have to stay tuned to my other channel because honey, we're gonna have to rip this thing out, honey, because I do not believe I can fly. I am not our Kelly. We is not finna go there. Y'all already know what time it is and what I done been through. Me losing a whole lot of weight made my loose skin even looser, honey, when it came back, honey. But I'm still here, okay? I'm still here to God be the glory. Woo, hallelujah. Shine no little over, huh? Mm. So Anyways, y'all, y'all got some story time, y'all want to dig up? Let me know, okay? For the end of this video, after I eat this grape, because it's just too good to not eat it. And y'all know, I don't mean no offense if you're a mukbang and you're watching this, but... That one, that one directed towards anybody but that one girl. And she doing her thing. But I ain't finna eat myself to death. I leave that to other folk. Anyways, y'all, finna get up out of here. This breakfast was good. I'm eating this banana off screen like I always do, y'all. I always have to have something that I eat later. I can't stop eating these grapes, though, y'all. They're so good. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, y'all. That's all I got to say in this video. Thank y'all for watching. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces!